How you going guys, Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. So today's job is part two of our 140M grader repair. If you missed part one, where we put a skin on the blade and changed out the trunnion balls, there'll be a link in the description below. So what we need to do today, we need to remove the blade lift cylinders and the steer cylinders because they need to be resealed. We've got our blade lift cylinders off, that all went really easy, pretty basic. The next cylinders we have to get off, the steer cylinders, they're not so easy. There is a little bit more involved in them. We do have two sensors, one in each cylinder, which tells the machine which way the wheels are pointing and that all has to do with the GPS system. So we need to be very careful we don't damage those because they are very expensive. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove all the hydraulic lines off, we'll then unplug the sensors and then we can start to undo the hardware that holds the cylinder onto the machine. So we've got a pin that holds the cylinder onto the chassis and then we have a tie rod end that holds the cylinder onto the spindle of the steering system. We'll get all the other stuff out of the way then we'll try and remove all that.
Yeah, get a big hammer. Righto guys, so we've got the steer cylinders off. I do need to change out the bearings in the main frame. They are a spherical bearing. The customer has supplied new bearings and pins for those. We will refit the bearings after we reassemble the cylinders. Righto guys, so we've got the first cylinder in the press. What I need to do is disassemble this. I need to be very cautious. There is a sensor inside that is very delicate and if I upset that, they're very expensive to get them replaced and then recalibrated back to the machine. The reason these are off the machine for a reseal is they are leaking. And generally, once the wiper seal, which is at the very head of the cylinder, starts to leak, it's probably a good time to do them because the wipers aren't doing their job. Once they let dust and dirt back into the cylinder, it then starts to attack the main pressure seals and then oil can then bypass them. But if dirt can get in and oil can get out, there are contaminants going back through the rest of the machine. Very good time to do them. So we'll get them disassembled, get them cleaned up. Once we've got them stripped and cleaned, we can then reassemble both of the cylinders. But while I'm doing the cleaning, I do need to replace the ball studs in the tie rod ends because they are very loose. So we'll do those after we get it apart. sensor.
that's not supposed to be two pieces.
Right on guys, so we've got our four cylinders completely resealed. What I need to do now is take them back outside and start fitting everything back to the machine. Jeffrey? Jeffrey? So before I can fit the steer cylinders, I do have to change out the spherical bearings. So what I'm going to do to pull those out, I've got a pulling rod with a little machine blank that's going to fit the bearing nicely. And you just put the bolt through, wind the nut up, and then it'll actually draw that bearing out.
Righto guys, so we've got all of our cylinders back on, we have all of our hydraulic lines hooked up. So what I need to do now, I need to start the machine and I need to just try and work the steering to see if we're going to have any issues. On the newer model 140M, like the Series 3, once you disassemble the steering cylinders, they do need to go back to Caterpillar to be recalibrated. Because this is one of the older model 140s, I don't believe we're going to have that issue. Let's see if it works. So we fired her up, we've got the steering doing everything. We did get an alarm, but we were able to get past that if you just isolate the steering. So what I need to do now, I need to reattach the blade lift cylinders down to the A-frame. Once we get them down, we can then put in the correct number of shims, tighten everything up, and then we need to do the center shift cylinder. What's on the inside of the cup shim is a bronze layer that's been sprayed in there under HVOF or something like that. So that is a bearing. Providing they grease it, these last a pretty long time. If you let them run dry, it just wears all this bronze off and they go back to wearing steel on steel. So we're just shimming out the ball trunnions on the bottom of the blade lift cylinders. So what the customer told me he had done, and I also see evidence of that, is he machined the caps down a couple of mil to make them tighter onto the trunnion balls. That is not a solution. I do not recommend it for graders. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to use additional shims in order to fill up the gap from where they've machined off that material from the caps. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to work the cylinders up and down just a little bit to see if we've got any excess movement. If we do, I will remove a shim until that movement has gone away, but you don't want these too tight. If they're too tight, they will just destroy the cup shims. So we've done our test, there is no excess movement in there. I did have to add one extra shim to this side. Happy where they are, we're just going to grease them and then we're going to nip up the bolts and make sure everything's nice and tight.
So now that we've got the blade lift cylinders done, I do need to do the center shift cylinder as well. But before I can reattach it to the end on the A-frame, I need to change out the trunnion ball. I'm just gonna wrap a sling around that. It's a lot easier to maneuver this end of the cylinder while it's hanging from a sling rather than trying to do it while it's attached down the other end. So we'll do that, re-shim it, and then we can reattach the other end to the A-frame. Righto guys, so the job is now completed. We put on a new blade skin, we changed out all the trunnion balls, we stripped and resealed the steer cylinders and the blade lift cylinders. Everything went really, really well, so you couldn't ask for much more. But this one's now complete, so we're gonna give our customer a call, telling his machine's ready to be collected. Thanks for watching. Ready. Yes, go. Right. So what we need to do today? Oh, <clears throat> so once you're at the point of adjusting, so once you're at the point, oh, fuck me. right, guys. Now we've got our trunnion caps on. Oh. So now what we're going to do? I've, oh, 
what, what, what have we done? Right, well, I'm starting it. So what we need to do today, oh that didn't sound right, did it sound right? Could get spurted here. I think it's out, eh? I think it's full. Oh, for fuck's sake. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> I pooed a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. After we've done that, off train. Sit. Uh, <laughs> Sit. <laughs> 